towards the end of that so everybody don't tire hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it's d here so i know i've been away for like 10 to 11 months but don't worry calm down <laughs> i'm here to serve you guys with good content so the first topic for today is nyse checklist basically what is a checklist a checklist is something you use to carry out a plan it's something you write down things you write down to do that's what a checklist is so i'm going to be giving you guys what you're going to need for the three weeks you're going to be in camp i'm talking from the perspective of a girl because i'm a girl so the first thing you need is your white shirt and shorts it's necessary you go with extra pairs don't go with just three it may not serve you go with like five to six and don't forget that it's raining season people's clothes will not get dry your clothes might not get dried so you need to go with extra just to be on the safe side me i actually wear with extra another thing is that if you go late a day after swearing you can hear that nyc kit has finished it happened to me so every one of us that went late we didn't have nyc kit till like after a week so we're wearing what we brought from home some people wore a particular clothes till nyc brought the nyc kit and gave us and then some people bought from mami market which was quite expensive there's a great inflation in mami market so it's just better that you buy yours from the house so you'll be on the safe side the second one is your white socks four to five pairs of white socks is actually better for same reasons i gave with the white shirt and shirt so you're going to be on the safe side and not end up being stranded also you need your white sneakers when buying your white sneakers please make sure that you buy a size that is not your perfect size yeah if you buy a size that's your perfect size it's going to disturb you and i'm happy that i listen to the people in the market the vendors precisely they're like i should not buy my exact size if you wear size s8 buy size 39 because this sneakers is what you're going to be using every time on the parade ground or most times on the parade ground so if you buy something that's very tight it's going to stress you it's going to get bad quick it's going to tear so try to buy a size that is not your perfect size here is a picture of what the sneakers look like the white sneakers yeah yes yes a picture yes a picture so the next one is your rechargeable fan you need a rechargeable fan because nyc has a way they schedule the bringing of lights and the light consistency or rotation so you need a rechargeable fan because you might you will definitely be sleeping without fun so in case it's hot your rechargeable fan can save you you can also go with your hand fan it depends on you Try to buy it when you're out of camp. Don't buy it in camp because it's going to be expensive. Like I said previously, there's a great inflation in mommy market. The next one is your face towel. Yeah, you need your face towel because you might be in some unconducive environment. So you actually need your face towel. And then for parade hole, palava, you actually, <laughs> you actually sweat, you'll be tired. So that's going to help you. And then sunscreen. In all honesty, sunscreen is optional, but then you still need to protect yourself from the sun. That does not mean you're not going to get dark. It's more like it's in the constitution. If you go to camp, you come back looking dark because you're not just fighting the sun. The sun is not the only factor to get you dark. You have the water and also you have stress factor. So get your sunscreen, though you will still come back looking dark. Unless maybe you'll be part of the medical team, the people in the medical team, they barely came out for all these parades and things like that. So yeah you may just be lucky if you're a medical person the next one is your waist pouch from the gates they'll tell you to put on your waist pouch when they're done searching you so you can just arrange your waist pouch at home like the necessary things the basic things you need every day like your lip gloss your charger your power bank and all this you can just put in your waist pouch and put in your box when they tell you to wear it you just wear it so yeah that's very necessary just a constitution of nyfc and then we have spoon in case you're going to get provisions in case you'll be eating from the dining too you need to have your own spoon and bed sheets when shopping for bed sheets just buy two you're not buying king size the normal school size just buy two it's going to save you because you're staying for three weeks so you need to also protect your skin you need a wrapper or cover clothes or duvet you don't need to bring the big duvet you can just get the one of 15k those cute small ones get your wrapper or your cover clothes anyone suitable you need a marker yeah when you send your things to the laundry you need to mark your things with your state code like your shirts your shorts your bed sheets so your things don't get missing you need a bathroom slippers because you're not going to be batting with your sneakers are you going to be batting with your sneakers no so you actually need your 
bathroom slippers you need a pant hanger i was able to go with a small one you don't need the very big one get the one that can accommodate your socks and your and your panties so let me show you the one i got i got this one i got this one this small one yeah i got it and it actually saved me so you can get this to protect yourself from infection because you can't be spreading everything on the rope you're not the only person using the rope or you're the only person going to be using your pants hang your cup this is optional actually but if you're not going to be using your pure water to brush your teeth you may use your cup to brush your teeth or if you want to get hot water from the dining your cup is going to be necessary and we have water bottle to be sincere water bottle is a nice idea but towards the end of camp you're going to get so tired like you just want to you start uploading some things back into your box like you're tired you can't be carrying load every time so yeah water bottle is necessary please go with your water bottle so you don't get salted but just to be honest towards the end of camp you start getting tired you may start relying on bottle waters just buying bottle water when you're done you dispose the bottle you need your antiseptic your tissue your toothbrush your toothpaste and then one thing is when you're shopping for underwears be careful not to buy white underwears white will easily show under white if i was wearing a white bra here it's going to show here but since i'm wearing black it's not showing so that goes with what you're going to wear um yeah on your bum so get your black panties and all those things you don't want to be that girl that everybody knows the pants she's wearing today she's wearing a pink pants today. you don't want to be that girl that will wear a tight in a short ah you're going to be so uncomfortable so just do yourself the favor to get your black on this you need your sanitary towel and tampons that's very necessary your washing soap and detergent your butter soap and sponge you need a sponge for your sneakers i practically wash my sneakers every morning so you can just cut a particular sponge a part of it and then use for your sneakers because you always need to appear clean and this is rainy season so your sneakers will just be getting dirty anyhow so you need to always look sharp and clean so the next one is your torchlight very important i went with a battery torchlight and i'm happy that i did so i don't get to be charging everything in mommy market so go with your torchlight you know once it's 10 o'clock it's lights out if your phone is on they're going to seize your phone so it's better they seize your torchlight than for them to seize your phone now for the soldiers to seize your phone we have power bank go with your power bank power banks are very expensive in camp normally power banks are expensive so imagine if you're buying in camp imagine how much it's going to cost you and don't forget all your chargers chargers to charge your power bank chargers to charge your phone charge to charge your rechargeable fan and your torch it depends on you and then you need your shower cap your shower cap is needed so you don't have smelling hair i don't know how long you're going to be carrying your hair but just get your shower cap because the nyc anthem says under the sun and in the rain so in the rain if these soldiers are not lenient with you you might be doing parade in the rain so you need your shower cap we have padlock and key that's very necessary so your things don't get missing you need your bucket baler and scoop you need your beverages and provision so in case you're not able to eat from a market because of um time frame you can actually go to the hostel and eat something before you sleep so you don't sleep on an empty belly and then i remember when we had an issue that somebody slapped a soldier they told all of us go back to the hostel like nobody should go to my market to get anything so the only people that were lucky to eat that night were food that had provision so you could just get such as milo and milk and um and gold or conflict just get something you need a cover plate or flag for food because you may want to go to the dining to get your food yeah you may want it from a market it depends on you sunday rice is very nice you may just want to try it out you need your night wears something you can wear to move in the hostel to do your laundry out of the hostel too that's needed and then you need id card holder and a pen and then you need money money is very very important money <laughs> money is going to make you in camp so you need money to be able to afford your lifestyle i don't know what your lifestyle is like but you need money so now onto the document part for every document you go with just try to make sure you make photocopies of them the original and then three to five photocopies so these are the required documents that i know about so if you're getting your color plate original don't forget three to five photocopies your green sleep the original three to five photocopies your school id card or photo card yeah the original and three to five photocopies your statement of results or certificates the original or three to five photocopies 
the medical fitness, the original and 35 photocopies, and then your professional permanent license. This has to do with the medical people. Yeah, you need that to so get your original and 35 photocopies. So for your passport, I would advise that you go with 12 to 15 copies to avoid being stranded because you will just hear, hey, you need your passport for this. Hey, you need your passport for that. So it's better you go with extra so you don't get stranded in camp. Not when they ask you for your passport for something, you don't have a passport to render. So go with extra instead of going with something limited. Go with 12 to 15 to just be on the safer side. When you come out from camp, you can also have like one or two left that you can use. And then for the ladies also, I'm going to advise that when you want to make your hair for camp, there's no need to take a wig there. I don't feel like there's a need to take a wig there because you will get tired do you want to be using your wig under the rain do you even have time to be brushing your wig every morning when the soldiers are blowing the beagle nobody has that time so it's just good you go with like the braided hair something you can easily just tie at the back and stuff like that because the heat also during side classes is something else so you need to just free yourself but mali people but mali is okay yeah it depends on you but having going to make something very full is just going to stress your life and people that brought wigs at the point instead braiding their hair and then braiding your hair in camp is quite expensive so just do yourself the favor of making something simple and going to camp because let me tell you people who see each other finish first week everybody's forming towards towards the end of first everybody don't tire second week everybody so yeah just do what you have to do going with wristwatch is actually optional i'm just going to say it's actually optional because you're not going to use it on the parade ground and then you, you already have your phone's check time so why do you need the research if your research is very expensive why are you taking it there let's not get missing or you can actually go with it it depends on you but on the parade ground nobody will let you match on the parade ground with your research nobody's going to let you do that so you don't use your hand to hit somebody and injure somebody these are all the things you need for the three weeks orientation camp so go have fun create all the experience that you want for yourself and then don't forget to like share and subscribe I'm going to be adding this checklist to the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, please, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>